Welcome to MDB MTG. This is card of the day. The card of the day for this day, Friday, is Shahabat. Uh, uh, um, Charizard. No. Charizard. Charizard. <clears throat> Charizard has a special place in my heart. It is my absolute favorite card. Before we talk about how it's fun, let's talk about what it is. Charizard is a sorcery for white white. The oracle text reads, players play a magic subgame using their libraries as their decks. Each player who doesn't win the subgame loses half his or her life rounded up. The original text is similar but has a lot more words and something about anti. This card has only been printed once in Arabian Nights. How likely is it to be reprinted? Not likely at all. I'd be willing to bet whatever you like this card will never be reprinted. It's also banned in literally every format, so the only place you're going to play this card is your kitchen table. Seeing as it's banned, it probably is pretty cheap, right? Right? Wrong. The average price of this thing is $48. However, this card is really fun. Put on a panoptic mirror and watch as everybody concedes. This card is interesting for two reasons. The first is that the magic community seems split on it. Either you think this card is awesome and hilarious, or you hate this card and think it ruins the game. The second reason this card is so interesting is that it shows what magic was like in its early history. Not to say every card was like this, but a card like this wouldn't be printed today. Cards like this, Chaos Orb, and Goblin Game were all really weird and fun early magic cards. Wizards were willing to have some fun with their cards, and cards like this help set the foundation for the juggernaut magic is today. Love it or hate it, Shirazad will always be one of the most interesting cards in magic. Oh, 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 it's magic. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel for a daily card of the day a weekly podcast, and extra magic gathering content. Thank you for watching, and have a fantastic day.